Well, in honor of tonight's presidential debate, we're taking a look at some movies that depict the lives of the presidents. Here with his top picks, Jess Cagle, executive editor of People Magazine and early show entertainment contributor. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Julie. I imagine HBO's John Adams has to be on your list. It just won all these Emmys. John Adams is right at the top of the list. If you have a long, you know, wintry weekend and you just want to pop in a seven-part miniseries, this is your, this is, <laughs> this is the ticket right here. Of course, as you know, uh, Paul Paul Giamatti plays John Adams. Fantastic performance. Laura Linney is Abigail Adams. Won 13 Emmys. It was a record. Plus, the DVD has some fun stuff on it, like little pop-up uh, historical factoids ah. that you know sort of illuminate the, the experience for you. For example, did you know that in colonial times, the average height of a man was five foot eight? I little did not things like that. Know yeah. That. Which meant in, in colonial times, I would have still been short. <laughs> Which is sad. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one on your list. We have um, Truman, also from HBO. Truman, also from HBO. Now, this was uh, from a few years ago, and Gary Sinise plays, plays Harry Truman. The great thing about this, a lot is crammed into a couple of hours. It's just, you know, a TV movie. But uh, the story of Truman, who was a guy who hit middle aged, he was broke, he really didn't have any career to speak of sort of picked up by the political bosses in Kansas City and ended up, of course, in the White House and had some incredibly difficult decisions to make as president, obviously. But he was an incredibly effective president as well. And this is part of the rehabilitation of his public image when this movie came out. And finally, one that is not out yet but is about to come out, Oliver Stone's W. Ol Oliver Stone's W coming out October 17th. This is, you know, I, I think maybe the first time a sitting president has been depicted in a fictional movie. And um, James... Uh, Josh, sorry, Josh Brolin plays plays uh, W. Apparently, this is a very even-handed, surprisingly so, film about George W. Bush being described as part satire, part character study, part melodrama. Promises to be very, very interesting. I'm going to reserve my judgment on it until I've seen the whole thing. We'll go see it together. All right. Chess Cagle, thanks so much.